anyway for their political views. It's not an isolated case. It's happening all over. It happened to performer Ariel Pink. Pink made the mistake of listening to the president's address on Wednesday. Pink says he didn't get anywhere near the Capitol. He went to his hotel and fell asleep. And no one has suggested otherwise. But for the crime of attending a political rally, Pink was punished. He was promptly dropped from his record label. He's done. Now it's possible he might not be able to fly on airplanes. A flight attendants union has demanded banning all, quote, insurrectionists from flying commercially anywhere in the United States. So the question is, and everything hangs on this definition, what's an insurrectionist? Well, according to a letter from Democrats in Congress, it is anyone who sympathizes with what happened on Wednesday. Think about that. Now, you can oppose what happened at the Capitol, and for the 15th time, we do oppose it loudly, have and will. And you can still see this development for what it is. It's terrifying lunacy. But no one is pushing back against it. Instead, the biggest corporations in this country, the ones that control your checking account, the ones that control your health care, whether you live or die, have decided to radically expand the definition of what is now illegal. Insurrection, according to this new definition, means questioning any part of last November's election. So you thought that your birthright as an American was the right to ask questions, but not anymore. That's now a crime. Consider this among many examples. A total of 139 Republicans in the House of Representatives objected to the certification of Joe Biden's victory. They were joined by several Republicans in the Senate. They called instead for an audit of the election results. Now, here's what they didn't do. They did not urge anyone to commit violence. They did not support the people who stormed the Capitol building. For our part, we did not promote their cause on this show. We had mixed feelings about it. On the other hand, we didn't denounce them as insurrectionists because they weren't and they aren't except now they are. And that definition has huge consequences, not just for them, but for the country. You'll notice the definition of insurrection has changed quite a bit in just four years. Here's what insurrection looked like right after the 2016 election. Mr. President, I object to the certificate from the state of Georgia on the grounds that the electoral votes were no not- No debate, there's no debate. Section 15 and 17 of Title III of the United States Code require that any objection be presented in writing signed by both a member of the House of representatives and a senator. Mr. President, even as people waited hours in no Georgia. Debate, and there is no debate. And if there